welcome to ISTV. This is Prof Reacts. Um, we've just seen the Chelsea Liverpool game at Stamford Bridge, Mauricio Pochettino's first um, competitive game um, for Chelsea as the manager. And um, yeah, it was a good game. It was a good game. Chelsea started really slow. Um, Liverpool were all over them in the first 15 20 minutes. Um, you could see that this game, these players are just learning to play together. I mean, the Chelsea players. Um, Salah, who you know almost had Kobe on toast in the first 15 20 minutes, and they could have gone two goals up. Uh, we saw the first goal, um, you know, by by Luis Diaz, um, Salah coming in from the left and exploiting the space, and the lack of concentration by De Sassi. Um, and uh, you know, Luis Diaz coasted in behind him and slid it in for the first goal, and then they almost scored almost immediately from a through ball by from a through ball from um. Trent Alexander Arnold and Salah ghosted in as well and scored, but it was um, um, offside. And then I think that was a turning moment for for Chelsea. You know, they then start to grow into the game, have belief. Um, and so Fernandez and Conor Gallagher grew into the game. They were very, very strong. They put in a solid performance. And yeah, it's so a lot of patterns of play building up from the Chelsea team. Uh, we could see that they've been actually listening to the manager and putting taking it on board the the Mauricio Pochettino style. We must, I must quickly say it was a, it was a surprise to see that they started with a sort of a back three, uh, because Pochettino has been starting has been using a four two three one formation in preseason, so it was a bit of a surprise for him to go with three central defenders in uh, Thiago Silva, De Sassi, and Levi Colwell. But we could see the, the thoughts behind that. Liverpool have a very potent attack. I think the attack is the most um, deadliest almost in the Premier League if you if you put take that into perspective. So I think he had to put an extra body there to contain them. And we saw that at the end of the game Salah was hacked out, he was taken off, Luzias was taken off. They didn't have much joy in the second half. Chelsea were all over the place. Oh so the Chelsea were all over them in the second half. They could have scored even at the dying minutes from a you know from a um a moderate Carlo Modric uh, uh, run that he made with Nicholas Jackson. So um, all my all in all is it was Chelsea had sixty five percent of that for, of the formation uh, of the possession in that game, um, and they had more passes. You know they were more uh, they showed themselves more in that game. They forced themselves in that game. Obviously they were playing the Stamford Bridge, and the players knew that you know it was a game for them to show their um, uh, their metal to show what they want to do this season. So yeah, all in all it was I can say it was a pretty balanced game. Both teams. Have now played about eight straight draws, um, or seven straight draws in the Premier League, which is incredible in itself. So um, yeah, a lot of positives to take from the game. Um, solid performances from Enzo Fernandez, who was the man of the match. He really controlled the middle of the park as well. It's good to see Nicholas Jackson. The fans will love him because it was really, um, you know, showed a lot of character, a lot of fight in itself. So um, yeah, a lot of positives to take from the game. Um, solid performances from Enzo Fernandez, who was the man of the match. He really controlled the middle of the park as well. It's good to see Nicholas Jackson. The fans will love him because it was really, um, you know, he showed a lot of character, a lot of fight. The way he traveled with the ball, his first touch, his control, he was fighting for every ball. He made the most runs, you know, in this whole, in the Premier League this first week. Um, Nicholas Jackson made the most runs into the penalty box. That shows his, his drive and his desire to succeed in that team. So, um, yeah, I would say it was a great game. It was a great game. Both managers, you know, came to the party, showed themselves. So we hope to see more. We hope to see more of what Chelsea want to do. I expect them to go back to back four in the next game against West Ham. Yeah, so um, nice to give my thoughts on, um, on the game. I will be back for the Chelsea-West Ham game. Thank you very much.